The Church of Santa Maria Assunta is a hidden masterpiece accessible only through a maze of narrow side streets on the easternmost edge of Venice. The original structure dates back to 1154, and it was frequently used as a hospital during times of great plague and famine. In 1523, St. Ignatius of Loyola visited the church on his way to Jerusalem and was so impressed by the structure that he selected it for the ordination of a few Jesuit brothers during a subsequent visit in 1535. A few centuries later, the Venetian government sold the property to the Jesuit order, which then demolished the original church and constructed a larger, even more impressive shrine in its place. The current design of Santa Marta dates back to 1723, and it bears a very similar look and feel to the Church of St. Mary of Nazareth just a few blocks away. This similarity is most notable in the six-pillared Baroque-style altar in the main sanctuary, as well as the many fine details etched into nearly every square inch of the walls, floor, and ceiling. Equally impressive are the many side altars of this church, some of which contain the original artwork of popular images found online today, including one image of Our Lady appearing to three of the most widely known saints of the Jesuit order, Saints Stanislav, Aloysius, and Francesco Borgia. Off to the side, behind the main altar, is a large sacristy, which also features many notable works of art from the Renaissance era, such as the martyrdom of St. John the Baptist and the finding of the True Cross by St. Helena. Altogether, it's one of the most richly decorated and visually stunning churches in the world, and it's definitely worth going off the beaten path to find. Hey guys, if you liked that video, please remember to drop a like and a share. Also, be sure to check out my next video, where I explore the Church of San Simeon Piccolo, which is currently owned and operated by the Fraternity of St. Peter. And as always, remember, today it's Venice, tomorrow it's the Eternal City.